הדס קידר, חנוך ביבן, שלום. שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you. We are sitting here uh, at the Bialik Rogozin School in Tel Aviv due to a very interesting project called Kan Beiti, temporary name. Here is my home. Mm-hmm. And we would like to hear from you. Uh, how did it go? What did it mean for you? And what are your thoughts and feelings about it? Beauty before age. <laughs> um, okay, so the, it's an exhibition of the end of the year of um, a course called Art on the Campus. which uh, involved uh, seventh and eighth grade students from the school, plus Ulpan students, students studying Hebrew. Um, many of them uh, from many of them refugees. Um, and that's why the name is the name of the exhibition is "Here is my home temporary name," um, because the home is not sure where. We're not sure where, the, where their home is. Um, and we worked on different um, subjects and different techniques in art um, with, with, with various um, lectures and uh, artists from, uh, from various um, techniques. If I may say so, not only artists, Top of the line artist. Top of the line artist, yes. Right. And um, <coughs> I'll step back a little including bit. Including Hanoch. <laughs> I'll step back. Um, basically, Bialik Rogozin, as you all know, or is, is a school in which there are um, kids from different 48 countries. Not all of them speak Hebrew. Not all of them are refugees. It's a diverse crowd. Some are refugees, some are foreign and are here for different reasons. But the common denominator is that Hebrew is not their mother language. And, um, and many of them have real problems communicating with words. And this is where art steps in. Art, step in. Uh, art is a way of communicating through pictures, through images, Um, is an emotional way of communicating and um, and we thought that uh, art would be a wonderful way of expressing uh, what they're going through in different mediums and different media and um, and this is why we incorporated photography incorporated collage incorporated um, drawing. drawing and different um, Even installations, there was an installation in which they had to build their house. There was, a, there was a happening in which they broke things and then they had to mend them, put them together. And this lasted for the entire year? The entire semester, What? half a, okay. half a year. Once Now, a week uh, meeting? Once a week, and it's important to say that uh, all the artists that came here Uh, came top of the line artists and um, not only also students uh, in Bezalel okay. uh, graduate students in Bezalel which are students of Adas in the MFA program, in the MFA program were brought here okay. to give uh, a workshop and some of the great workshops were given by these students so um, they all came on a voluntary basis yes. the Bialik Rogozin school is uh, represents um, an issue that in the Israeli society there are many um, opinions about it. Controversial. Con- it's controversial. Within the government... Like everything in Israel. Like everything. Within the government, it's, there is a controversy about it. As we know, some students, uh, eight students of the school or more, 20 students of the schools are being expelled from the country, returned from their, uh, to their uh, homes in, in, uh, South Sudan. in South Sudan. So uh, this is a bit where the word, uh, the name Kan Beiti Shemzmani, this is our house, um, temporary name. Yeah. And it's also uh, very emotional for those who participate. It's, a, it's very emotional. On the other end, there is an other segment of the Israeli society which has been extremely supportive, a huge segment of the Israeli society, has been extremely supportive to 
the school and to the program. As documented in the Oscars winning documentary. Exactly. Uh, Strangers No More. Strangers No More. So it is, the school represents a point that it's sort of a litmus test to the Israeli society. Many people say, you know, um, you know, we don't want those foreigners here, those strangers here. And many people say, we definitely open our home to everybody. So we felt, and, uh, and we felt that art was also a place um, through which artists could contribute, could come in, could help the kids, and really help the kids exp- uh, Escape, escape in a way all these controversies mm-hmm. and just create mm-hmm. and communicate and have fun. And this is what we try to do. It is very clear to notice what the kids who participated got from you. What did you get from them? Oh, we got a lot. I think I said, I said it in the end of the, the, the ceremony. That's why, that's why I'm asking. Okay, so... Um, I think it was a great privilege for us to work with them. Um, I think I, I got a lot of um, um, satisfaction, satisfaction, fulfillment fulfillment from just from coming every week and meeting them and talking about, yeah, talking about not the front front page issues, but more like, should I use this color or this color, or should I do it in a As a drawing or as a watercolor and um, and for me art is, is there's a, a, um, there's a word heterotopia that Foucault uses a, a French philosopher heterotopia is um, an area where things can happen that don't happen in in reality in, mm-hmm. in real life where um, um, all the rules change and and people can change their destiny in, in a moment. And this is for me, art is a place like this. You can change your destiny, you can, you can fantasize, you can play with um, your destiny. And I think this is, this is what I got from it, because I, I can see how these youth um, use the art, you know, even twice, uh, once a week, two hours, just to, um, to dream of a different, future. Hanok, what did you get from your students? Uh, just uh, two hours of fun every, every week, you know? I mean, for me, um, I have a very busy schedule. I'm constantly... International? Yeah, I'm constantly traveling. Actually, while this was going on, I was in uh, South America, I was in North America, I was in Europe. and China. I, in China, and wow. that's what was carrying the, the torch all throughout. The global trotter. Yeah, so for me, and uh, for me it was um, a moment of respire, you know, just, uh, just a moment to take, um, to take a breath and enjoy myself with it. With the kids and and this you, you know and just you see how immersed they are in it and it's you know sometimes it's all you need a person that is creating art is an optimistic person and the kids that are creating art uh, were optimistic at that at that moment and kids are kids also no matter who they are we were very quick to put labels on them refugees not refugees you know but they're kids kids are kids no matter who they are you know And everybody is an artist. Everybody has the potential to do something that will give him or her satisfaction. And who knows, one day, Adas, you might uh, meet some of your students at Bezalel. Oh, some of my, yes, the youth, I wish. And we understand this is a pilot. So we would, like, pilot. We would like to <coughs> wish this project that it will become an annual happening. And for this, we need funding from interesting parties. So, If you are interested so, in supporting so the Art is, in Campus is, project, contact us. I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> from this room, there is an open call for everybody. Support this important project. Adas, Hanoch, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much.